I am not one of those weak-spirited, sappy Americans who want to be liked by all the people around them. I don't care if people hate my guts. I assume most of them do. The important question is whether they are in a position to do anything about it. My affections, being concentrated over a few people, are not spread all over hell in a vile attempt to placate sulky, worthless shits. In the city market is the meat cafe. Followers of obsolete, unthinkable trades doodling in Etruscan. Addicts of drugs not yet synthesized. Pushers of souped-up harmine. Junk reduced to pure habit offering precarious vegetable serenity. Liquids to induce lata. Tithonian longevity serums. Black marketeers of World War III. Excuses of telepathic sensitivity. Osteopaths of the spirit. Investigators of infractions denounced by bland, paranoid chess players. Servers of fragmentary warrants taken down in hebophrenic shorthand, charging unspeakable mutilations of the spirit. Bureaucrats of spectral departments. Officials of unconstituted police states. A lesbian dwarf who has perfected Operation Bangotot. The long erection that strangles a sleeping enemy. Sellers of orgone tanks and relaxing machines. Brokers of exquisite dreams and memories tested on the sensitized cells of junk sickness and bartered for raw materials of the will. Doctors skilled in the treatment of diseases dormant in the black dust of ruined cities, gathering virulence in the white blood of eyeless worms feeling slowly to the surface and the human host. Maladies of the ocean floor and the stratosphere, maladies of the laboratory and atomic war. A place where the unknown past and the emergent future meet in a vibrating, soundless hum. Larval entities waiting for a live one.